let, let me get this straight. They created the component for a link. Here we go. <laughs> oh, now we talking. Oh, this is the way to go. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, so I need to move this stuff to an actual repository of posts. A lot of people in the PHP world, they confuse type safety with being explicit with types. What do you think about Next.js in general? Is a good framework? Is a bad framework? It's something in the betweens? I don't know. What's up, Nuno Nation? It's Nuno here. And just a reminder that only 50% of you are actually subscribers of this channel. So if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe my channel. And now, enjoy the video. Today, we have exciting content where we're going to literally dive into Next.js, a very popular JavaScript framework. So today, I think the goal will be building a stupid blog, literally a stupid blog. Now, it comes with installation um, documentation for the various package managers of JavaScript. In, in reality, uh, JavaScript community has a bunch of package management uh, libraries. In PHP, we have one called it Composer. Okay, so I've run this command already, and this prompt me about a few things. One of them is where do I want to put things, and I selected that I want things within the source directory. Also, ask me if I want BMGS or ESLint which tells me that on the JavaScript community currently, there is probably a split between ESLint and BMGS, which is probably something new, okay? It's written on Rust, AKA it's faster, I think. So in terms of formatting, it's like Prettier, and ESLint requires Printer. Uh, in terms of linting, it's built-in. ESLint is powerful, but requires plugins. In terms of configuration, we have a single JSON file, and obviously with ESLint, we have one for ESLint and another one for Prettier. In terms of performance, BIOM is faster, while ESLint is slower. Interesting. Let me run BIOM real quick locally. NPM run format to actually format my code. Here we go. Eight files formatted in five milliseconds. This is the equivalent of Pint on the Laravel world at the moment, by the way. So if I click on this and I do some dummy, dummy stuff like this, I expect this to be formatted. Here we go. Interesting. And maybe we can just start by looking into the folder structure, which looks a little bit different from Laravel at least because we have a dot next all the way top. I believe this exactly. It's exactly for the temporary build files, okay? So every time you run, I don't know, something like npm run dev or npm run build, this should be the temporary static assets or the temporary static build files that are used and cached behind the scenes too, which hopefully should be within git ignore. Here we go, obviously. Then we have node modules, the equivalent of vendor in the PHP world. We have the public folder, which obviously contains public assets. Then we have the source directory, which contains the source code. Now, something a little bit odd, and you find this odd, and I find this odd too, is that within the source code, you will find uh, .ico or .css, and honestly, everything is route-based, meaning that with Next.js, they have this approach of file-based routing. If you go to slash 5 vcon, you will eat this small thing right here. If you hit slash globals.css on the browser, you will hit this. If you just eat the route itself, you will hit uh, this page.tsx. We can literally use this. So I think if I go here, and if I type something like, let's type a new file, for example, let's call this Nuno Nation, for example. So Nuno Nation.txx. Here we go. And then we type export function. And then we get a nice auto completion from PHP Storm. And then I return hello chat. I go here and I type Nuno Nation. And I don't see anything. <laughs> Perfect. It's just working. <laughs> what I did wrong. Oh my God. Oh, do I need to create like a separate folder? Something like a folder with the name Nuno Nation and then a page inside. Do I have to do that? Nuno Nation as a folder and then call this just page. Meaning that now, oh, that was automatically, not bad. Oh, they have that thing that Vit also offers. This might actually come from Vit. I love this. I honestly would love to see this on Laravel too. Just with regular blades in live wire stuff, you know, where you are just basically just changing things in the automatically or automatically that just happened on the browser. What is this? Oh, oh, tells you like 
Interesting. So tells you like which layout this is using, but also what is the page like answering this? This is not bad. So this is the layout.tx. So if I go here, so it should be this one, right? If I type this, I see that. Oh, here we go. That's interesting. Mm. So this uses the nested layout, basically. So everything like nested within this folder will end up using this base layout. And that information was given thanks to this nice helper. By the way, chat, something that you might don't know is that as a framework developer like I am, uh, something that happens often is that ideas for the Laravel ecosystem for the PHP ecosystem in general, sometimes they come from other ecosystems. So sometimes I do have to play with these frameworks to see how they behave and what they offer, because it might, I might bring ideas for the PHP world that work that way. One example is the Go for Matter tool, which was kind of important before building Laravel Pint. Obviously, Jest before building past. Sometimes it's important to dive into these things to understand how they work, so I can actually bring some of that to the PHP world too. If you enjoyed this live stream, go all the way down and put a like on this video. Anyways, .gitignore, biom.json, blah, blah, blue. This is the equivalent of pint.json. We have a Next.js configuration file, which is hopefully takes configuration stuff. Um, what else do we have? We have a dot env file with a package.json equivalent of the composer.json. Oh yeah, composer.json with a bunch of scripts, okay? So we can run npm run dev for serving the application locally, npm run build in production. We have the start, which I don't know the difference between start and dev. We're going to try this. So npm run dev literally runs a local server. So what it does npm run start? There's nothing. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. What is this? <gasps> oh, I think this is the production server, maybe? So we type npm run build, right? And this compiles the actually app to a production build asset. Here we go. And then we type npm run start on the actual server. Interesting. Which set of dependencies do we have? We have obviously React, React of course, Next itself. We have TypeScript. And I believe that uh, TypeScript will just run when you type npm run dev, I think. Uh, meaning that if I make a JavaScript mistake, let's do something like const a equals to, obviously this is not type safe. Meaning that if I run this, it does not fail. npx tsx, right. But npx is like a global tool, right? Let's try it out, let's try it out. Oh, it works, nice. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, types for Node, for React. We have Tailwind with PostCSS installed. In case you don't know what is PostCSS, it's basically, basically a way of instructing Tailwind of the classes that are not being used, and then you just script out those classes, making your CSS build file a little bit smaller. TS, Tailwind CSS v4 and the Beyond Project 2. That's interesting. What else? Uh, PostCSS configuration file, the README, and then the TS configuration. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is create the page for the blog. So maybe let's go here. Oh, to be to be honest, maybe the blog will be just here on the home page. Yeah, let's actually do that. So I'm going to remove the footer and pretty much all of the entire content of the page. Here we go. Let's create here, for example just a list of posts, which will be empty for now. And then if you don't have nothing, no posts is yet, perfect. If we have anything whatsoever, we just walk we just walk on them, yep. Something really dummy. I don't even care about the generated HTML because we'll be just fully redone at the future. So this should be good. So no posts whatsoever. We are literally doing proper TypeScript code. You know what I mean? Do we want to create a folder just for types? I guess yes. Let's create a folder just for types. Domain.ts. Okay. It's been a while that I don't do this, but I think I can just export type post and this will have a couple of attributes. Let's go back and I can import this all the way top. So let's just type here import post from types. And now I can just replace this with our small post type. Would be kind of cool if this beyond thing would just run automatically and format my code for me on save. You guys, Next.js developers, just let me know if there is any kind of, um, you know, anything that just runs that on save. All right, it's working. Hopefully we don't have anything. If I were to have 
a dummy blog post. Here we go. Well, we'll render this, which is not ideal. It's not beautiful, but it will work at the moment. Let's go here to plugins and let's search Biome. Search on the marketplace. Here we go. Biome, is that the one? Maybe. Let's install it. Oh, run Biome format. I, I think that's it. Okay, run Biome format. I think that's it. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm gonna just press Control S. Bam, it just automatically formats everything. Much, much, that's a good one. So I need to move this stuff to an actual repository of posts. What I will do here is that I'm gonna create a folder with the name repositories, and then I'm gonna create a new file with the name posts.ts, okay? Now, this will return me back the post, so I'm gonna just type export function, get posts, exactly that. Thank you, so, thank you so much, GitHub Copilot. That's exactly what I want. And this will return me back an array of posts. Here we go, exactly what I want. So this is literally TypeScript, by the way, in case you haven't done yet. It allows you to, have, to be a little bit more type saved a little bit. So let's actually fetch the posts from that repository. So let's just type here, posts is equal to uh, get posts. In here, I'm gonna use type inference, okay? As you can see here, we are actually getting nice type inference, which is one of my favorite things ever. A lot of people in the PHP world, they confuse type safety with being explicit with types, which is something very different. Something I don't need to do here is this. I don't need to do this because the type of this variable is inferred from the function. You guys know what I mean? You guys know what I mean? So you kind of want to leverage a little bit that type safety and type inference that TypeScript gives you, okay? So this should just be working. At some point, we might need to write some tests into this, but let's not do it for now. And here we go, it's working as expected. We have exactly the same result. So let's go with the post and type here slug equals to string. And then let's go back and just say that this is my first post on the slug. And if I go to my page.tx thing, I should be able to make a link. This is a link to that slug. Boo, boo, boo. What do you think about Next.js in general? Is a good framework? Is a bad framework? It's something in the betweens? I don't know. A lot of people are saying, why are you not using the link thing? Dude, how I am supposed to know that there is a link thing? Jesus Christ, Chad. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, man. I literally, you know, I'm literally trying this for, you know, for a while. Is this a link thing kind of new? <laughs> Okay, so this is the link thing. Okay, relax, chat. So they created the component for a link. Let, let me get this straight. They created the component for a link. Oh, it's good for CEO. Okay, okay, whew. Okay, 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 chat, relax. I know, I know, I know. Relax, relax, chat. All right, let's copy this. Let's go all the way top and import that link component. And then let's use the link component, chat. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do this. What is the API again? Oh, okay, so this is good already. The next step, I think, is kind of make that route. That's the next step, chat. We are going to literally, literally create a route for those slugs to see how those behave. Create the nested route, here we go. A nested route is a route composed of multiple URL segments, for example, slug, here we go. And then I type slug is the very first thing of the parameters. I cannot wait, why is that? Is that an async thing? It is, okay, cool. All right, so that's cool. Just print out the slug and that's it. It is working and if I click on this, I see my first post. Yeah, it's actually working. Here we go, here we go, chat. So nested URLs, not only you need to do nested folder, but if you want something dynamic, this is the way to go. Boo, boo, boo. Someone is saying, did you try to use TS no emit watch? The next side to this, like in a different tab, like that. What happens if I do this? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we can go to this repositories class and something we can do here is create a function with the name get post and this will receive, let's, let's make it get post by slug. I can type the following, const post equals to get post by slug, give the slug, and I do get the slug, the nice slug, you know what I mean, chat? We don't have the post, we do post not found. Do we have some sort of abort 404 like we do have in Laravel? Because this is exactly what I wanna do. If we do have a post, 
I'm gonna just display the post content and the post title, close the div, save it, bam, bam, boom, boom. So that's compiling, I can just go back to my Safari browser, recompile this, and I think it's working. Oh yeah, baby, it's literally working. Nice, 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 nice. Someone is saying, use not found. Okay, use not found. So let's try that one. So here, I'm gonna just say, not found. I guess we are going to find out. Let's type here, no, no nation, not found, test. Here we go, beautiful shit, exactly what I wanted. Thank you, thank you. So let's create a few more posts to have that thing with a bunch of stuff. Let's, the slug will be use next JS with Laravel. Here we go, beautiful shit, beautiful. We need to have some, the Juni making some work here, okay? No, you are an expert on design. Um, can you please make both page.txcs very beautiful? Make it, uh, why do I want this? Harry Potter's newsletter, that's a good one. I'm gonna use that one. Make it look like Harry Potter newspaper style. I think I'm gonna leave it that way. Now we talking, now we talking, just a thousand times better, Jesus Christ. All right, the Daily Weirzo. Established in London. This is so good. Oh my god, I love to see this small animation. Kind of reminds me like back in the days how, the, how simple the web used to be. Love you all. Peace out. Boom.